I'll enter in a prompt generator. Then after that, I'll get even more prompts. No more having to shuffle and go from tab to tab or window to window. One of the best things to discover in our AI world are gonna be hidden gems. And I'm always on the constant lookout for amazing AI apps that may be flying underneath the radar. And so today we're gonna take a look at three awesome hidden gems. We have two AI image generators, and then we have an app, an amazing app that allows you to use so many AI tools all within one platform. And as an added bonus, I'll be sharing a masterful prompt generator specifically crafted to create people, faces, models, anything. So make sure you stick around because these AI tools just may become your next AI sidekick. So this first app is called Shaker AI and we're on the webpage right now. And if you notice, it seems to excel at creating models, AI influencers, just people all around in general. It says the world's largest design oriented model hub. We have a lot of people, a lot of models, AI influencer types. All the images do look very good. Like me, I look good and feel good. We can see a lot more user cases and so far the images do look amazing and there are some very unique and creative features now coming back to the home page look over here on the left hand side okay we have three amazing ai generator tools we're going to have the regular ai generator to create and edit images but now down here at the bottom we have automatic and then below that we have the new flux and stable diffusion 3 and that just provides the icing on the cake because we all know flux is very popular trending right now you can actually utilize flux within shape or AI as well. The cool thing is, is up here at the top, we have more examples to choose from, from in-painting, upscaling, removing the background, removing specific portions of an image. Then we also have crop. And then in beta, we have outpaint. So now we saw a few amazing options in Shaker AI. Now let's head over and see what sort of images that we can generate. And so for that, we're going to head over to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. It works anywhere. You can use these same prompts for mid journey, Dolly, Adobe Firefly, etc. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Okay. So as I scroll down, I actually know what image I want to make. I'm going to go to this very last one right here. Open this one up and let's go ahead and then use this same exact prompt. Now for future guidance, what we can also do in Shaker is use an image reference. So if I do like this image, I could download it and then use it as an image reference. Let's first come down here and then just copy this whole entire prompt. Now for this first time, we'll just use the AI generator, but check this out over here on the right hand side. So many useful options. Now up here at the top, we have base model. Right now I'm in 3D, but I'm going to go back to this one that says shaker the default model because in my opinion this is going to be one of the best options it does a great job creating realistic images but in addition to this one you could also see other ones that we have right here and then right below this base model section we have what's called enhanced model if i select that we have a ton of other ones that we could select from and then again down here in the right hand side we're going to have our image reference this is where i can add like i said earlier control net image reference we have anywhere from depth to soft edge and scribble and then in addition to down here at the very bottom, perhaps one of my favorite things is what's called fix hand and fix face. And then before we start generating an image, I do want to let you know that you own all assets you create with the services to the fullest extent possible under applicable law. Okay, now back to Shaker. Let's go ahead and now select generate to see what sort of images that we'll get. So while we're waiting on that image, let's go back to my database and then pick out another one. This will be the next one that we're going to utilize because now, like I said, we're going to use it as an image reference down here in the bottom left, I'm going to select image to image, upload an image to start the image process. And then now you can see down here at the bottom what it is. But check this out. One thing to keep in mind is I didn't enter a prompt. All I did was enter an image for that image reference. And just off that alone, look at this. It gives me the prompt used in order to create that image. So as that one is thinking, let's come back up here and look at what an amazing job it did doing this fitness model for me. I tell you what, Shaker AI did a phenomenal job. Same exact prompt looks fantastic. Okay, so while we're waiting for the other images to generate, let's talk about pricing. I have to tell you, it has an option I really love, okay? So of course, they have a very good free plan. 200 fast tokens resets once per day. But here's what I like. Up here at the very top, you can select 
one year plan or a one month plan. And then look at this perfectly done the hair, the gradient glow, the color scheme. Let's try this in SD3 and flux. And look at this right here. Amazing. And then we could see, look how good of a job this did down here at the bottom. We can see our generation history. And again, you could see the ones I did earlier today. Great job. These are very realistic. And I love the way that these look. That's the first app. Now let's move on to the second one. And you're going to love this hidden gem. One big reason is because it's completely free in which you can also access and use flux in this one as well. And this app is called pick lumen. And this seems like it's one of the best free alternatives to mid journey. And again, it's free. So that's always an added bonus free AI image generator, text to image, image to image, and then flux AI image generator. Awesome. And as I scroll, I can tell you right now that these do a very good job. And now check out the quality of these images over here. This did a fantastic job. And then I did the same exact one as I did earlier. There is my prompt up here in the top right hand corner. That's the one we've been using consistently. And then again, that is again, this is her right here. So same prompt. Look at what a good job this did. Great clarity, great quality. Let's do like a modern scene. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt right here. Come back over here into pick lumen and then paste my prompt in up here at the top. You can see all the different models that we can use realistic V2 anime line art. And then there is flux one. Okay. So from here inside the prompt, I could select this option and now I have even more options. I can enter in negative prompts the CFG scale, and then different steps. I can select the number of images I want, and then the generation mode, I select quality. Okay, now check out these images. I decided to try some methods they really excel at, and now look at these images created right here. And then this one above here, I did this one right here with an anime style, and now as we scroll up, there's another one, and now look at this right here. For this black and white astronaut, I chose the model Pick Lumen Line Art. Beautiful job, and that's gonna work so well if you're looking to create some coloring book style pages. And then again, as I continue to scroll, I did two more with the oil painting variety, and these did a phenomenal job. Look at this. Look how good and realistic this looks as an oil painting. I'll go to the next one. Same thing with this panda bear in the bamboo forest. Phenomenal job. And now before we wrap this one up, I do want to remind you that over here next to the prompt in the left-hand corner, if I select this photo icon, I can also use a image reference and do the same exact thing. So if I did choose her, okay, if I wanted to use this as a content reference, I can also do two other things. We have three options total content reference, style reference, and character reference. Character reference is going to work perfectly well for creating those consistent characters and people. So I highly recommend using this as well. Again, you can't beat this. This is completely free and that's going to be pick lumen. Okay, now let's move on. And last but not least, this next one is called Poe, P-O-E, and I am loving this one. So what Poe does, it's going to let you interact with all of the best AI products all in one place. So for an example, you can use multiple LLMs, but not only that, you can even create your own AI powered bots. You can use LLMs like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, and then Gemini. But what the icing on the cake really is, is that you can even create images with AI generators, including Dolly, Ideogram, and Stable Diffusion. And for Poe, when it comes to price, it really is a good deal because for the cost of what a chat GPT or a Claude would cost for a monthly subscription, you can get everything that Poe offers for that same exact price. So here I am on Poe. And like I said, you get access to all of these bots right here. And there are so many of them. If I select more, look at everything that you have and I can search for the bots right here. So we start with assistant. This is going to be Poe's internal one. But as I scroll down, we get Dali, Ideogram, Claude 3.5, Sonnet, Web Search, GPT 4.0, Image Prompt GPTs, and then again, Flux Pro. And I can continue scrolling and then we could see Llama, Gemini, Flux Dev, Flux Schnell, and I could just keep scrolling and scrolling. And then there we are with stable diffusion. So if I X out of here, you can also notice this over here on the left hand side, they also have an iOS app, Android app, and a app for the Mac OS for Mac computers. And you could just take a look at some of these reviews and user cases in the app store itself. So this looks very promising. You can have access to all these AI tools all within your pocket. And at the same exact time, I'll enter in a prompt generator. From that prompt generator, I'm going to get a series of prompts. Then after that, I'll get even more prompts because I'll compare it to another bot like ChatGPT or Claude. No more having to shuffle and go from tab to tab or window to window. 
you could do it all within your same chat. So let me show you exactly what I mean, because I walk away impressed every single time. This is definitely going to be a 10x productivity booster. Okay, so check this out over here. I'm back over here on Poe, and here's what I'll do just to start the process. We'll keep it rolling, but look at this. Just simply say something like, how do I invest in the stock market? And then look how fast this populates. We get our data from the Poe Assistant. It gives us eight bullet points, all very relevant and good. But now down here at the bottom, this is what I love. Every single time you generate a prompt, it's going to provide other options to where you can compare with other chatbots. Then below that, there are other options that it could suggest for you to keep this conversation going. Let's go ahead and now select compare. And for this one, let's go ahead and then do this with 3.5 Sonnet. So there it is getting to work. I can keep the conversation going and now even select compare with Gemini 1.5 Pro. Same thing. Gemini is giving me all of this, but as I scroll up, I have Sonnet and the Poe Assistant. All this powerful information without having to click outside the page. Now, this is where things really start to get fun. This next step is going to really blow your mind. Now that it's done thinking, I get more questions, but now watch this. I'm going to ask this now, which stocks in the AI market should I consider investing in? It takes me back to the Poe Assistant. It's going to give me eight stocks that I should consider. Very good. So we have this first one, NVIDIA. Very good recommendation. Now, let's take things to the next level. What this is going to do now is I can get real-time, real-world data. And so for this one, here's what we're going to do. At the bottom, with my prompt, hit that add button and then start typing in W, web search. We're going to go ahead and then tag web search. Okay, and I typed in, what is the current price for NVIDIA? Just like that. And with the real-time data, web search is working. It should give me a current price. And then there we go. There's the ticker. The current price for NVIDIA is 104.75 a share, which is down 22 cents or 0.21% from the previous close of 104.97. So again, Amazing. all this powerful data within one window. One more thing to take things up to an even higher level. And so for this one, this is exactly what I said earlier. I'll put in a prompt generator. This is my brand new powerful AI prompt engineering generator. Hundreds of prompts that are going to allow any LLM to create prompt after prompt after prompt. Basically, you will never need prompts again because you'll have everything at your fingertips turning any chatbot into a powerful prompt generator. This is going to be for creating AI images. Copy this whole entire prompt, head back over here into Poe. Now down here at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and then start a brand new chat. Brand new chat. There is my prompt. And then down here at the bottom, I'll say my keyword. I change my keyword to a supercar. Poe, again, automatically gives me three amazing prompts I could use right away to generate an AI image for a supercar. If I don't like any of these three, let's now do compare with chat GPT 4.0. And then just like that, three more, three from Poe, three from chat GPT, and then again, three from Llama. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt right here. Okay. Any prompt will work. Now down here at the bottom, tag and hit that add button. And now hit the D button for doll E3 to populate. Now what we're going to do is basically tell doll E3, generate this image right here within this window. Paste that prompt in, give doll E permission to be accessible on this chat. And now watch this. There is that awesome looking image, but here's the best part. I can do an upscale, okay, with playground upscaler. Hit that upscale button and get this image upscaled. I can do animate. Let's do animate with Pika, which I can turn this into a video. I can do compare. I can do compare with ideogram and compare with SD3 turbo. There is my video from Pika. Let's go ahead and hit that play button. Moving. Very good job. Let me come back over here to all their amazing options right here. So at the top, I could do a simple search. Now watch this. If I just search for image, okay, I get all of these bots that I could utilize to generate some awesome looking images. And I could just type in, let's say SEO. Now I'm gonna get SEO assistance. Let's go back to our supercar and look at what an amazing job that Flux did. There is Dolly 3's version. Poe is one of those tools that there's simply so much to cover with its powerful capabilities all within one simple video. So there you have it, three hidden gems you may not know about, but you may wanna consider trying. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.